Hey guys, we're about to take the GT4 on the second road trip if I've ever done with it. This one's significantly shorter than the last road trip. This one's just to Montreal. Uh, but yeah, we're Formula One weekend. Honestly, we don't have any tickets. We're just kind of going for the atmosphere, for the vibe, to see some cars. We're going to head up some dealerships. I think cars are going to be driving around like freaking crazy. So I'm thinking the GT4. Jason already came here and he grabbed his GT2 RS. Adam is bringing his Urus. We're going to all meet up in Porsche North Toronto. We're going to head out from there. So yeah, let's go up. We're going to see some insane cars this weekend. You guys, you ready? Good morning. Where are we going? We came, what for, coffee. We came for coffee. Okay, I know we can go back home. We don't need much help. My mom says. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to Montreal. We got the GT4, the GT2 RS, and Adam's Euros. Four and a half hour drive. We're gonna go to Lamborghini Montreal first. Uh, but yeah, let's go. here to grab some food and we randomly bumped into another group of cars definitely going to Montreal as well 70th uh, anniversary 48 and then another spider over there yeah we just got to Lamborghini Montreal this is probably the most stacked showroom I've ever seen it's crazy this is in Canada you know it's crazy when you're sitting next to an MC12 but you really don't care Lamborghini stay on just seen Lamborghini see on there's one right there but like I was saying before you know it's stacked with an MC12 right here and you really don't care because holy fuck one of three Venino coupes I've never seen one in person this car is freaking insane based on the event that over this is probably the craziest looking body of any car ever made just absolutely freaking wild look at the back of this thing like the wing and stuff this is like so rumor has it they want about 9 million US for this thing. Which I honestly don't think is a bad buy for the future. I think it's gonna go up way more than that. So let's go through all the cars and I'm gonna go geek out over the Venino after, but MC12, one of 50. Maybe one of probably four or five in Canada. New 4 GT Golf Livery Edition. AMG Black Series, AMG Black Series. These are supposed to be rare. I guess they're freaking not rare. Then we have this Tech Art Purple 911 Turbo GT 350R with the carbon fiber wheels 911 Speedster. This is really cool. This is a manual V8 Vantage from the new one. So same engine as the new AMG GT, but it's a limited edition. Came in a manual transmission. Very, very, very cool. Very rare. I don't think I've ever seen one. And then here there's a 918 with the YSEC package, but it has the kind of non YSEC penis shaped wheels and liquid silver. SVJ Roadster, A12 GTS, STO, another STO, SVJ 63 Who? SVJ 63 Roadster. For people that remember from the channel, probably about a year and a half ago, we had a, probably my third or fourth video, a video of I drove this car on the snow actually in the driveway. Then another SVJ Roadster, SVJ 63 Coupe, 720 Spider, and first time ever seeing a Lamborghini Seon. This is in now white, this thing looks freaking awesome. Kind of a hybrid version of the Aventador, which if I had to guess, the new Aventador is going to be something very similar to this. And Viper ACR, these things are going crazy in price. But yeah, this is like an insanely stacked showroom, especially all and stuff. We don't even mention everything. The Aventador F3 Roadster, Mercilog Roadster there, I want to go see it. But yeah, these cars are freaking crazy. 
a very cool SV Roadster. Only thing I would change is I wouldn't have the comfort seats, I have the bucket seats. Then for S in red, this thing looks freaking crazy. Gray LP640 Roadster. These things have aged so well. And yeah, that Venino, holy crap. A very cool piece of spider here. These are slowly starting to disappear and they're going up in value like crazy. But then over there, I see a car that I really, really like, which is a 997 GT2. These things are freaking crazy. Tell now, this is probably the most fun car I've ever driven. My first ever video was actually driving one of these. But yeah, these things are freaking crazy. And 600 LT. Probably 612. SF90. Testarossa, but then Daytona right here. It's freaking sick. Viper, but then C6 ZR1. These went up crazy in volume. You never see them, and like if you don't know, you don't know. And then Demon right here as well. These completely disappeared. A bunch of 911s, GT3 RS. Change the sample, GT2 RS, Voodoo Blue. That's Lamborghini Montreal. This is crazy for a Lamborghini dealership. Any crazy car you can imagine pretty much is here. Just stacks on stacks and it's crazy that most dealerships actually hide their good cars downstairs. Here they kind of put all the firepower in the showroom for everyone to see, so it's really cool they want to share it with everybody. But then downstairs you have kind of your average stuff, but they really made sure to load the showroom up with some real firepower. Look at this thing, like MC12, 4GT, Venino, like that lineup by itself is probably $15 million. 918 just casually sitting here uh, Yeah, just crazy crazy stuff here a bunch of SVJs like SF90s like just not just Lambo just literally everything this Potentially the best showroom I've ever been to and it's just amazing. That it's actually in Canada wire roads for blue carbon gold wheels We're at like a different place right now that we're I guess walked into the wrong side, but it's like I guess the wrong side is the right side fucking and very cool 4GT here, blue with the white stripes. Very cool spec. But yeah, Wyra. Didn't expect this to be here at all. So very cool. We have another Legends Edition. Second one I think I've seen. The test, 1200 horsepower. This is same power as the Super Sports. This was the fastest convertible in the world. But it's slightly slower than the Super Sports because it is convertible, so it's less aerodynamic. And then also Santa Can M, which is kind of like the Canadian version of the LM because we for some reason couldn't get them here. Right, this thing is freaking really cool. It's like a light blue painted part with the dark blue carbon part. It's really, really cool. Yeah, so here's an Elva, which normally comes with no windshield. This is one of the very few cars that has a windshield option. But I just noticed it's all exposed carbon fiber, even right here around the windshield. Really cool kind of tier. So this car is pretty much like 100% carbon. This is really, really cool. But yeah, I personally am not a big fan of the Alvas with the windshield. I'm not a big fan of the Alvas in general, but especially with the windshield, I don't think it looks too good. But with the exposed carbon, it's kind of cool. I have no idea what this car is. It looks kind of weird though, kind of cool. 911 SLS Gullwing. These things are just kind of disappearing. U911s, Roma, and Mercilago. Very, very cool in black with the silver wheels, look very kind of classic, ages very, very well. And yeah, this, oh, I just noticed this on the, on the 911 Turbo. These cool yeah. decals. Okay, we're now at Ferrari Quebec. There's some pretty cool cars here. We're allowed to kind of film whatever we want here in the back. So I'll show you some of the cars that I find cool and yeah. So a very cool speciality right here in the launch spec with the white and blue stripe. Crazy looking F8 right here. These carbon wheels. Blue Pista red interior. 
and then SF90 right here with the carbon fiber wheels. And then we have a lineup here of mostly the regular cars, but then you look in the back behind these cars and it gets interesting. So behind it, you see by the roof, 599 GTO. These cars are crazy. Ferrari Enzo engines sounds insane. Ferrari Speciale Alberta right there. Also coming up to about a million dollars on these cars. Next to a Scud. Let's see what they're asking for this one. 1.2 million for this one, but potentially my favorite car. Ferrari 599 SA Aperta, only 80-ish made. Uh, but yeah, very cool V12 open top. Very, very cool car. La Ferrari Aperta, first wild spot in front of that boxer there. Hopefully you'll be able to catch it. traffic but love Ferrari Aperta right there randomly saw it and the GT4 and the GT2 RS but freaking love Ferrari Aperta as soon as we got in we also had an Enzo earlier but we missed it but love Ferrari Aperta it's freaking sick right, that's not that far license plate Aperta. Badass. This is so sick. Okay, so we just randomly stopped because we're looking at this 300 SL that we randomly found. And then we look across the street and what do you know? Wait for this R6 to move. We didn't even notice the La Ferrari Aperta right across the street. But yeah, let's go look at the La Ferrari Aperta. Okay, here's a little far from oh, earlier. Right now it's parked. No, it's an F8. That's not an F90. F8? Oh, it's yeah. F8. Yeah. My bad. I went too far. Yeah, yeah freaking crazy here in the rain, and you got all the spotters sleeping it. But yeah, freaking crazy across the street, 300 SL. Pretty good start of Grand Prix weekend. Okay, back to regular scheduling, 300 SL. A lot of far still there, but yeah. Super sick random spot. Pretty cool that someone's leaving this outside in the rain. Like an off-white or an off-white wheels. Looks like a very cool, very nice original car. Then also this, I don't really know anything about this. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Ventega, and a race disappeared from somewhere. Uh, we're gonna get it. SVJ, 63 year old star. God damn it, getting cock blocked right here. Ooh, here, Jason. Giotto wheels, but LP640, pretty nice nevertheless. Blue Spider, Shop GT3. Now 2016 GT4. 